Hi everyone, welcome back to my, my channel. So today I'm going to be making um, apple shortcake. Another recipe I haven't done in years and I was actually trying to find or remember the recipe and I found one that was very close to uh, what I used to make. these stickers off. Okay, I'll be back. I'm just going to peel these apples. Okay, so now I'm just going to chop them up into fairly big pieces. I mean, I'm not going to be fussing. Uh, so. That's one whole piece. Okay, so keep chopping up your apples. I'll be okay, so the apples are all chopped up. I'm going to add in a cup of water. I think I'll put in three tablespoons of sugar. Oopsie. And I've got cinnamon paste so yeah I want to use it up otherwise it'll go to waste but um that should be enough. I think that might have been half a teaspoon. Because I just want to taste the cinnamon, I don't want it to overpower the apples. So I'm going to put these on to stew, um, and I'll be back. The apples have been stewing for about 20 minutes on medium heat, and this is the final result ready for the um, apple shortcake. Okay, into a bowl goes 250 grams of butter. I've actually cubed my butter up into yeah, little cubes. Oh. And one cup of sugar. I'm going to use my mixer so I'll come back once I've blended the butter and the sugar. So in this bowl is 250 grams of butter and one cup of sugar. I'm now, now going to add the egg and um, I want to give that a beat with my mixer. Okay, I've beaten in one egg and here's the mix here, uh, nice and fluffy. And to this I'm going to add two cups of flour and one te uh, two teaspoons of baking powder. Two teaspoons of baking powder. <coughs> Pinch of salt. And sift it into my bowl. Okay, so what you're going to do is bring all the flour, all the dry ingredients 
mixed into the wet ingredients. Um, and what I do next is put some flour onto the workbench and tip all the dough out. And what you're trying to do is just make a one full um, ball. So you just keep pressing it together. Try not to handle it too much. And then half, half the mix. One half for the bottom and the other half for the top of your sh apple shortcake. Because it's such a soft dough, I'm not even going to roll it out. I'm going to push it into the dish. Into Please excuse dish. my breathing. Um, when I made this video, I was still getting over at the flu that I had. Now, I'm actually going to cut this base first. As I always like to make sure that any sort of pie that I do, that I, I like to know that the base is cooked properly. So I always partially cook my bases. Okay, so here's my base ready. I'm just going to put the apple slices on top now. Oh, the apple pieces, sorry. I've actually seen pe some people uh, make this recipe straight onto a tray, uh, but you know, I'm just going to put mine on top inside a dish, and now I will roll out the um, top of the pastry and place that on. Okay, now I'm just rolling out the pastry for the top of the apple shortcake and I don't know why I did that um, tried to roll it on the rolling pin I should know better so I just cut it into thirds and put it straight on to the um, apple shortcake um, and then I baked it until it was golden brown on 180 degrees So here's the shortcake already. Um, I'm just cutting it into pieces here and I will serve this with egg custard. The egg custard will be coming up next, will be the next video I put up. Um, but I dusted the shortcake with some icing sugar and then poured over the egg custard. It was a, a delicious, it's a beautiful recipe. So, um, yeah, I encourage you to make it. You won't regret it. Um, thank you for watching my channel.